Where's your emergency? Um, I was just uh, at the airport in Marshall, and there's a very, very, very strong odor of either natural gas or maybe uh, crude oil or something, and I don't know what that is, but I felt that I should at least tell you. Okay, we'll get them to check it out. A Calhoun County River rushing with a sheen of oil tonight. And 24 Hour News 8's Tony Taliavia is there as crews are now scrambling to contain this spill. Tony? We know that Talmadge Creek is believed to be the place where that oil pumping station leaked. And then we know that oil from that creek did make it into the Kalamazoo. If you go a little upriver where the Talmadge Creek empties into the Kalamazoo River, a couple of barriers were placed there. We can see that that's stopping some of the oil, but some of that oil is still seeping underneath the barrier and going past it into the Kalamazoo River. This is basically where I, I grew up. I mean, I grew up walking this river, grew up riding horseback along the river, and seeing, you know, blue herons and hawks and crows and birds, you know, along the river bank. That was most likely the Enbridge. I think the Enbridge helicopter that just flew over. Well, look at this guy. I've never, I've never, um, I've never found a snail this big here. It makes me, it makes me all excited. It's like, oh, I found a snail this big here. It makes me cry. <laughs> I guess that was my big fear is coming here and seeing this place destroyed and, and growing up here. I have my own sense of guilt with it. It's not Enbridge, it's not this other pipeline. It's sort of, I've left this, this property for nine years. I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if someone cut the trees down. I don't know if someone's polluting the shoreline. I don't know what's happening with this property because I've left it. It's one year later and Enbridge is still working on cleaning up the river.
Ano, ať je to